had it. And think of how callous the, the uh, hierarchs are in Washington to knowingly let these guns go in, knowing that if they were going to show up at crime scenes, that's the only way you're going to get uh, these guns traced back to the United States. The Mexicans pick them up and say, hey, is this one of yours? Knowing then that somebody has to get murdered in order to get these statistics up. These people need to be taken to jail. Absolutely. And then they'll throw the book uh, at uh, somebody who hasn't even really violated a gun law here in the United States or somebody's at a shooting range, as has happened, and their AR-15 malfunctions. It's a legally bought semi-auto. It malfunctions. The good little Nazi tattletales call the police. The ATF comes and throws them in prison because of an admittedly malfunctioned gun that hadn't been altered. They'll spend millions of dollars if need be prosecuting them. Meanwhile, they're pumping guns into Mexico for the cartels. So now you've got some more of the real story. You actually have some truth to go with your lies. Are you enjoying the fluoride? Thank the Sharon Board of Health. Yeah, because it makes you more docile. You're too busy. What do you care? What do you care that your government's moving drugs? Then building prisons to put your children in them. What do you care that your, your government's growing the drugs in Afghanistan? Yeah, helping them. Have some fertilizer, boys. How are those poppies doing? Don't believe me. There's some homework. Type in Geraldo Rivera. Opium Afghanistan. And you'll see him interviewing the Marine Colonel who says, yeah, it's our job to guard the drugs. Isn't that what Pat Tillman said? I try to get to you sports fans. Come on, Pat Tillman. We'll go to him next. So some homework, some more homework for you. Please take the time, find a copy of the Bill of Rights, read it. Understand what tyranny is and what we said, hey, Americans have the right to keep and bear arms. Why? Because you don't have to be defenseless. You can defend yourself in this nation, in this country, in this republic. Don't allow these criminals who got into your government to tell you, well, 90% of the problems the American Bill of Rights, 90% of the problems American guns, it's American guns, it's American guns, it's American guns. When you find out later on that they were not only sanctioning it, but they were funding it, and once again, you don't buy grenade launches and fully automatics and HKs and Chinese made in Narenkos or whatever, you don't buy them at Bass Pro Shops. Those are military sales. And once again, who benefits? Did you benefit? Does your family members benefit from this war on drugs? Who benefits? With that, I will say thank you for watching. God bless you. God bless your family. God bless this constitutional republic. Learn to fight for your rights. Don't let them steal your Bill of Rights based on lies and false flag events. Not unlike 9-11, this whole thing with Project Gunrunner and the Fast and Furious program, it involves all the way to the top. That's right, past the Department of Justice, it was put in the stimulus bill. Those people need to be impeached. You need to get the criminals out of your government. Or as the Sharon Board of Health would say, sit back, relax, enjoy your fluoride. I hope the cancer treats you well. Because why bother? Aren't you docile now? How's the Celebrex, the Ambilify, the Prozac treating you? Did you get your child on Ritalin this week? Maybe he's a special ed kid. Maybe he needs more drugs. So with that, once again, remember it goes drugs, banks, government. And the bankers using the government as muscle. Hey, you better pay your cut. Yeah, why is Los Zetas getting trained at Fort Benning, the school of the Americas? Isn't that where the Sandinistas got trained? Do we remember any of the Nicaragua stuff? How about Ollie North? I don't remember. Yeah, how about, you know, your new attorney general? I just found that out two weeks ago. Yet he was giving speeches in Mexico telling him, yep, we're doing exactly that. So with that, you men out there, you manly viewers, grow some testosterone. Start defending freedom. And remember, it is mass murderers that agree gun control does work. It's worked before in history, and if you let it work here, you can expect the same. Oh, by the way, didn't all these three guys make people travel like this? Aren't they making you travel like that? Didn't all these three guys want to feel your daughter's genitals? Are they feeling your daughter's genitals at the airport? What's it take to be a woken male to awake Maybe it's time you took the red pill.
Thanks for watching.